Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. Apple unveiled their newest version of Mac OS X, so dropping the Mac name and just being called OS 10.8 Mountain Lion. Now, Mountain Lion follows upon the trend of Snow Leopard, being that it is an evolutionary update to Lion. Snow Leopard obviously was the evolutionary update to Leopard. What Apple began to do with Lion was to take the best features from iOS and put them into their desktop operating system. Mountain Lion continues this trend with several new core features that we've previously seen in iOS. Now, today Apple has unveiled a, a very early build that developers can download and try out, and there will be videos circulating around the web and on Apple's website showing these features. We can expect this software to launch in the summer, again summer 2012, and we don't really know specifics again on that release date or on pricing, although I expect the pricing to be that same you know, low $29 price that we saw with the Lion update. This will be distributed again completely digitally over the Mac App Store. So the first big feature, I'm going to talk about four of them, is Messages. Messages, which again is a Mac application, is essentially the iMessages application that we have on iOS brought to the desktop or laptop, of course. Now what it allows you to do is anybody that will have messages running on their machine, plus anybody running an, you know, an, an Apple device running iOS 5 or later, so that's an iPod Touch, an iPhone, and an iPad, You'll, those will be all people inside of your network, and you can communicate with them just like you do on iMessage. You can send text notification or text messages, you can send videos, pictures, all that jazz. You can send, again, videos up to 100 megabytes, and it all just works all free. What's cool is, again, you have some of those cool features from iMessage, you know, sent notification as well as a red notification so you can see what the process is going on with that. It's really an interesting feature, and it allows you to sort of centralize everything onto your computer. So, you know, whether you are somewhere where you don't have cell access, you can still answer messages. Conversely, you know, the same messages that you see on your phone are on your computer, and it's just all a very central way of doing things. So messages is a really interesting feature. Another interesting feature is share sheets. Essentially, Apple has gone ahead and integrated sharing into several built-in applications for Mountain Lion. So, for instance, in Safari, if you saw something really cool, sharing is built right in, and you can, with one click, basically share that to Twitter. Again, there will be a universal login for Twitter, just as there was on iOS. In iMovie, if you've made a cool movie, you can go ahead and, and share that movie directly to Vimeo. You can share, you know, pictures to Flickr. It's all very easy, and it's all built in, and it works, you know, basically how you'd expect it, just one click and go with logins. Uh, predetermined so you don't have to type in things or open up different applications it all just works the next interesting feature I want to talk about is gatekeeper Apple has been criticized for having a walled garden approach in their mobile operating system essentially unless you jailbreak your device you, then you know the only way to install applications on your phone or iPad or iPod touch is through the Apple store otherwise you can't install applications that Apple has not approved Gatekeeper takes that same philosophy in order to protect you from malicious applications. So you'll have basically three settings on your Mac that will that you can choose depending on what level of protection you want. First, you can you know say only applications downloaded from the Mac App Store can be installed. That's pretty good because obviously Apple isn't going to allow a malicious keylogger or or malware into their Mac App Store, so that's protection. Second, you can have that level of protection but you can also install applications not from the App Store with ver from verified developers. So basically a developer can submit uh, you know, an application to Apple, Apple basically you know, can approve them, and it's something in the, in the code, it's not important for you or me, but essentially if, the ver if it's a verified application you can install it under that setting. So that's kind of the walled garden. Now, of course, this is a fully featured desktop app or you know desktop environment. People would not be happy if you had that such a walled garden, you know. So Apple allows a third option. So basically, you can install anything you want, just like now. You know, you can install Mac apps from the from the App Store, from the internet that are signed, and you know from anywhere else. So it's a, it's an extra layer of protection. You know, Mac OS X has has been you know previously quite secure, and we haven't really had any huge security issues. And this is just another layer of protection insulating you from any malicious applications out there. The last thing that I want to talk about today, and you can see more features on Apple's website, but probably the coolest feature to me is AirPlay mirroring. This is the same thing we saw on the iPad, uh, or iOS 5 I should say, because I believe the new iPhone software can do it as well. But essentially, you know, you can stream your desktop right to your HDTV through the Apple TV interface. Now of course, Apple TV does cost some money, but this allows for so many features. Uh, you know, the, you can share your desktop, like I said, 
built-in app or certain applications will have you know that feature built in as well so iMovie you'll get a nicer interface and it'll go full screen when you share a movie you know iPhoto will probably do the same thing Keynote does it so it's just an extremely elegant interface for again if you had guests over to, to watch a movie or to share your photos if you're doing a presentation to share your Keynote documents you know if you're if you're trying to teach somebody how to do something you can go ahead and easily put your desktop up on their screen and you can show a larger group of people if you were in that type of setting all wirelessly all with just a click it's extremely appealing and not only is it such a cool feature you know that it'll sorry the light went off not only is it such a cool feature that you can do it at home or whatever but this is just it's so simple it's no matter where you go you know you just pair it up and it works there's no wires there's no you know, troubleshooting Bluetooth connections or Wi-Fi connections. It just works over AirPlay, and it's just an extremely elegant feature. I really am excited for AirPlay. Now, as I've previously mentioned, uh, you know, Mountain Lion is an evolutionary update. If this is not the OS 10 or OS 11, I should say, that some people were clamoring for, but it does introduce a lot of features and a lot of improvements to an already refined operating system. Personally, I'm not even on Mac OS X Lion yet. I'm still running Snow Leopard on my laptop. But that laptop's about four years old. My next laptop, because this one's slowly fading out into the abyss, will probably I will probably update to Mountain Lion when it comes out, just because of the added you know security features, because of the added iOS implementations. Notification Center is something I didn't mention, but there's going to be a unified notification center, so all your updates will be handled in there, all your emails, all your messages from the Messages application. You know, it's just an, a very intuitive thing, and Apple has taken a lot of those, uh, you know, not innovations, um, but improvements that they've introduced in the mobile sector and are moving that over to their desktop line, which is very appealing. Now, one thing, I said this will be launching in the summer. I expect that Apple has a few tricks up their sleeve and will have, you know, maybe one or two new features that are jaw-dropping um, or at least extremely appealing that we didn't see today and isn't announced yet. And I think those will make Mountain Lion an extremely competitive, you know, uh, you know, piece of software compared to Microsoft Windows 8 when that launches. So guys, this is uh, just a quick preview of Mountain Lion. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys. A really early release if you want to go ahead and do that. I just want to talk about four features that I think are the, you know, the coolest. First is messages. This is basically iMessage for the Mac. Really? You're gonna f***ing start playing now.